Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a couple more candle reviews. I have three to talk about today. I was hoping to have a few more, but I just didn't get enough time to test them. So let's get right into it. I have three different brands here, so let's get started. First one I want to talk about is from Bath and Body Works. It is the Kiwi Passion Fruit. This is actually I'm pretty sure the oldest candle in my collection, which isn't so bad. It's from the end of 2020, I believe. Uh, the date is, or it was on the 332nd day of 2020. So I think this is my oldest candle in my collection. Um, it is 2023 now, so I'm definitely trying to use this up. This is actually available now and I had never burned it. So I was like, okay, I'm actually going to test this for you guys. Um, and I do think this is more of a summertime candle, but I am glad I tested it out. The notes are tropical passion fruit, radiant kiwi, and juicy pineapple. I definitely think this is a very like summer tropical fruit type scent. I will say on burning, and this is why I feel like it's important to burn these things, on burning, this kind of gets almost like that medical type note that some like Baccarat Rouge 540 dupes and that scent kind of have. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think it might turn some people off, but I definitely got it. Um, I did burn it in my bedroom here and I felt like it was very strong here in my bedroom. So I think in my open concept, it would probably just be more of a medium throw but maybe that medical note wouldn't be as intense. Um, I don't get it at all on cold, but I definitely got it on burn. And I was not offended by it per se, because I like those fragrances that have that, I guess, but some people might be turned off by that. And it wasn't like a burning plastic or anything like that. I do feel it's probably something to do with the actual wicks burning. Sometimes that does cause those types of scents but I wasn't mad at it. Um, I Once it was going, the wicks obviously got these mushrooms. They did get a little heavy, maybe they started to lean, but I also, I typically will like do the swirl method on my candles. Like if to put them out, I never blow anything out, but sometimes I'll like knock the wicks over into the wax to put them out. So that could have been happening here while they're so tilted. I don't think I'm gonna have any like issues of wicks falling over but as you can see got a little bit of that going on definitely a candle I will burn this summer I really do like this scent um in the past I was always like I really don't like it because it I believe it was in body care and I really did like it in the body care but I love it in home fragrance um we talked about the strength and throw I felt like it was really strong in my bedroom or in this office here which is like a smaller sized bedroom I guess but I feel like I will definitely be doing this in my open concept over summer and it should be perfect. I just feel like in this room, it didn't have a lot of place. It was trying to go in the hallway, but I feel like all I have is the door versus the open concept. There's just a lot of open air for it to move around. I feel like it'll be so much better there. Um, would I recommend this? I really like this one. I actually have rebought it. Um, so I have this older packaging and then I actually rebought it for this year because I knew I was going to use this one up. So I definitely recommend trying this. I tried uh, to get my brother to try this though. And he was like, the scent is so gross. But I actually, the reason I fell in love with this is I went to my cousin's house one time and she had this going, wallflowers and the candle and it smelled amazing in her house so I was like I have to check this out but yeah when I was there with my brother he was like he didn't say anything while he was there but when we went shopping for candles he was like I really don't like that scent it's like but don't you remember it smelling so good in our cousin's house like come on um next I only have a daylight so I feel like this isn't gonna be a super it's gonna be like a review of the scent but not obviously the whole candle because this is just like a tea light situation so this is country candle strawberry mint tart the notes on this are strawberry lemon crumb cake accord rose water transparent floral vanilla berry crystal condensed milk <laughs> there is the crinkle notes are crazy because i feel like they just put everything that they put in it compared to bath to body which makes it all flowery um so what do i get from this i got literally like what this picture looks like it's like a fruit cake fruit that's what they call it fruit pie fruit pizza fruit pizza there we go um 
and it just literally has strawberries on it and cream and the crust. I feel like that's exactly what I get. This tea light definitely doesn't like throw <laughs> and it's not as strong. Um, I've just been using these tea lights in the bathrooms because I feel like they definitely will not excel anywhere else. I could see myself maybe doing it on my like office desk here just during a work day or something, but that would have to be like dedicated time. I know I'm going to be in here. I don't know that it would do this whole space. Like, I don't know that I would do it back there and expect it to like travel all the way over here. I might literally have to do it right on my desk because I mean, these are kind of small. So I've really been liking these in the bathroom though, just for the light they give. And especially in the mornings, I just like to light up a candle. So it's been giving a little bit of scent. I feel like the full size of this is definitely going to give you more performance. But I will say like this isn't non-existent smelling, um, but it's definitely not what I think a full size would give you. I do really enjoy this scent. However, I don't know that I would repurchase this. Maybe potentially if it came as the new fully soy formula. I believe this one's still in the blend formula. However, a couple things on this. This is actually on sale today, but it's already sold out. And I wonder if they're putting some of these on sale to like get them out the door to make way for the reformulated soy. I don't know anything and don't have any insider information, but I could see that happening. That would make sense to me um, because they do have some of these on sale and it happens to be sold out and it's not offered in, it's only in the large jar, this daylight and the wax melt. So, and the large jar sold out. So I guess we'll see, but uh, I definitely recommend trying these daylights from Kringle. I do enjoy this scent, but I'm not like rushing. I mean, obviously it's sold out, so I can't rebuy it anyway, but I'm not like rushing to grab this one in a bigger size. I will probably just enjoy this, like continue to enjoy it in my uh, bathroom when I get ready in the morning. Okay, and the last one <laughs> is probably the one I'm the least excited about, honestly. So this is Yankee Candle Majestic Mount Fuji. This is, I actually bought this at Walmart. So I, this was kind of like a, not a backup. It was like a plan B. I don't know how to describe it. Basically, I went into Walmart. They sell Yankee Candles for like $16.99. They're like definitely at a discount. They're probably like half price from what they normally are on like a Yankee website or a Yankee candle store full retail price. Um, so I went in and I was like, I want pink sands. Like I had my heart set that I wanted pink sands. I looked ahead of time. It said it was at the store. I got there. Of course it wasn't. And every time there sends that I've checked, it's been completely gone. So I don't know if it's just that wildly popular or what the deal is, but I love that scent and it's perfect for the bathroom. And I was like, you know, I have these, but that will also be perfect for the bathroom because I know these aren't like incredibly strong and they only have one wick. So I was trying to find another scent that I could use in place of pink sands. Hence why this is the plan B, if you will. So I was smelling through them all. Some I was like, okay, do I go a whole different angle? Do I get like the lemon one for the kitchen? I was like really trying to decide. And this one seemed like it would be semi-appropriate for the bathroom. So I was like, okay, let me go for it. Of course, it doesn't say like anything on the bottom about notes or anything. I was just strictly going off smell, which is totally fine. Um, sometimes the notes don't entirely smell like what it smells like anyway. But I have the notes pulled up on Yankee's website to read for you. So... The notes are crisp ozone, sparkling aldehydes, bergamot, dewy pear, cactus flower, aloe vera, apple blossom, coconut water, <laughs> amber wood, blue musk, tea leaves, cedar wood. Those are all the notes. Um, I think it had a flowery write up too. It said, enjoy the fresh mountain air and a cool breeze off the water, carrying notes of dewy pear and coconut water as you gaze upon the iconic mountain backdrop to the cherry blossoms. Totally looks like this picture, right? It's also like, I kind of love the picture with this like, I don't know, it, it makes me feel like it's somewhere else, obviously. Kind of like somewhat tropical, but also has mountains. Like, I just really like the picture. 
this is not Pink Sands by any means. Like not that it's trying to be a dupe of Pink Sands, but obviously that's what I was going for. This is incredibly different. The notes and what I feel like I get on cold somewhat align. Like now that I know the notes, fresh mountain air, okay, I kind of get that. It kind of has like an air, um, kind of like that scent you get when you open the windows and it kind of like gets in your hair. It kind of has that type of vibe. Dewy pear, coconut water, uh, maybe a hint of a fruitiness, but I don't know if I would say specifically pear and I don't feel like I'm getting coconut. I would love to get some coconut. Um, the mid notes are cactus flower, aloe vera, apple blossom. I feel like I'm getting a lot of those things. Sparkling aldehydes, eh, I don't know. Crisp ozone though, that's the top, top note. Definitely getting that. I feel like, and as you can see, like this is a Yankee. I have no intentions of like making this the best burning candle at all. I, this was literally just my like backup to my bathroom candle. So like I have no expectations for this, but I was like, I do want to burn it and just see what it's all about. First time I burned it, it was almost like choking me out of the house. I couldn't breathe <laughs> and I did it in the open concept. It just happened to be like so incredibly strong. I literally couldn't believe it. I was like, what's happening here? Like I thought Yankees were supposed to be, everyone talked about how low throw they are. So it really threw me off. Then I was like, I'm going to retest it because I feel like people are like, oh, they top load the oil. So it's really strong on cold. But then as you start to burn it down, it like gets less strong essentially. So the second time I burned it, I definitely didn't feel like it was as strong, which was like definitely okay with me. I felt like the first time I almost had to open the window. It was like too intense. The second time it was better for sure. I will say the, so the strength was like slowly decreasing. I'm definitely going to continue to retest it. Obviously I've only burned it a couple times and by no means, like it hasn't even pulled out or anything. I don't, like I said, really super care about this candle. Um, this is definitely probably going to die in the crock at some point of its life, but I just wanted something as you can tell. Um, this one though, I feel like it threw everywhere. Like it was in the whole entire downstairs, even if the second time where it wasn't quite as strong as the first day, it still like threw really well. And I felt like it really, um, kind of in the way some people do like lemon to get rid of smells. This like after cooking a dinner that kind of smelled a little bit, you guys know what I mean? Totally got rid of that. So I think instead of my bathroom scent, this is going to be my like open concept after dinner. If we cook like tacos, fish, any of those scents where I'm like, get this scent out. Like now that we've ate and it's after supper, I don't want to smell it anymore. This was surprisingly good for that. So while it's still throwing enough to go throughout the open concept and working in that way, I think I'm just going to use it that way. Um, if it starts to like really decrease in scent, I'm probably just going to move it to the bathroom. I'm fine with either option. Um, I have been putting a Aluma lid on this, which I feel like has been helping with the flame knot dance. Um, obviously it hasn't helped with pooling by any means, but it's just helped with the flame not to like dance around which is really what all I'm worried about. Um, but yeah, would I recommend this? Personally, <laughs> no. Um, I don't love the scent of it. And literally after I burned it the first time, I was like, I wish I didn't burn it. And I just would like, if we had a Yankee, I just would have went to Yankee and got a pink sand, but our Yankee closed. So we do not, but obviously I was like, oh, Walmart has it, I'll just go grab it. I think because I wanted pink sands, I'm disappointed in this. However, it's not like bad, but I wouldn't say I recommend it. It's probably just my least favorite. I'm getting more accustomed to it. And I think once it's going to be warm enough to open the windows, I'm probably going to like this a lot more. But there's just something in there that's just a little bit off. Um, and I think I just... If it wasn't so strong that first time I did it, I probably wouldn't have a bad impression of it, like as bad as I do now. But like a smelling it on cold, it's fine. But I feel like it was just so overwhelming that first time. I was like, oh, I hate this. Why is it like living in my mouth? Like it was so intense. So things might get better with that. As I continue to go through these things, I'll be talking about them in my weekly home fragrance roundup, um, like 
wax chat, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think I have been titling it what I've been warming and burning. I try to post it about weekly. Um, so I'll be updating on what I'm obviously warming and then these candles I'm burning, burning in those videos. And then when I'm completely done with the candles, I do talk about them in my monthly empties. So stay tuned for those. I will get to burning some more new scents for you guys to review and I will be back hopefully next Saturday with more candles to chat about. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.